me just start off by saying I am so tired. More than usual, and I know it's like 11 in the morning, but like, bro. Oh. Anyway, I have placed all my makeup in a bag. Okay, I still have barely any of Bobbi Brown. Getting ready today. I don't know what today's going to bring. This is also great to set up to your primer. I don't know what it is, but just one thing I love about being in college is you do get to create your own schedules. You get to create your own schedules and you're in charge of placing when you want to go to class and what times, as long as they're available, of course. But this time around, I decided to mainly do classes two days a week and just stack them on versus how I used to do where I think my freshman year and most freshmen do. They'll go to school five days out of the week or, or they'll go to school Monday through Thursday and then have Friday off. My freshman year of college, I actually had classes every single day at three different campuses yeah. and an 8 a.m class <laughs> wasn't my best fit. but you know we learned so now i'm trying to make them a little bit thinner but not like how i used to do back in like 2022 that was that was a really crappy year for me so today i have my math class from 12 45 to 4 o'clock and it's funny because i literally did the same thing during spring the brows are getting skinny she didn't have much of an appetite today so she's not really eating that's okay. I'll probably end up sweating it all. I've been having to combine my foundation, so my really, really dark one, and then my really, really light one, so like my summer and my winter shade. Like, don't get me wrong, I realize this is really, really light, but for some reason, when this one oxidates on my face, it's just way too incredibly light. I did get a little bit of tan, not really. We're just gonna put a light amount. I'm going for my full beat. I feel like everyone on the first day of school always has, like, their designated spot, and then that just becomes their seat for the rest of the semester. Like, in college, I feel like you don't really have assigned seating, so there's no assigned seating, but it's just kind of like first come, first serve basis. One other thing I'm really excited about is to see my friend, especially my friend Janelle. I haven't seen her since the last day of school and we originally talked about going to Gat Ba. There's this little spot near my school and she's like my pho buddy. No one really likes pho. Like none of my other friends really like pho. They're more ramen people. No shade, no hate. I love ramen too, but I'm obsessed with pho. So there's this little spot near my school that we usually would go to to celebrate taking an exam or if we just wanted to celebrate getting a good grade. Like it was always like a little ketchup spot. I do eat in the cafeteria so sometimes if I don't have lunch or if I didn't have time to pack something. But even now with the basis, it's just not realistic. I mean, $11 for a panini. No. I mean, it does come with sides. It'll come with like a salad. And then if you want to add an additional side of like mac and cheese, it's like a dollar for it. But it's pretty generous. And then the Starbucks line is always so long at my school. I usually just stick to looking around the campus to see what else I get. Although at one of the campuses, they do sell like it's like a little snack bar. Every campus has a snack bar, but this one in particular makes acai bowls and it's so good. It's a bathed on putting cream blush today but i think i'm gonna hold off i wish there was some corrector underneath my eyes because i need it i really do enjoy going on campus though i must say it has been an experience i think the overall commute though is just not my favorite i think i would prefer to be a little closer but then again I, I wouldn't trade my school for anything i love my school but it can take 40 to almost an hour and a half just to get there and on a good day it's about a it could be like a 17 minute drive bad day it could take you about an hour and a half going there and going back depending on what time i am literally just going to go for a matte look i mean powder is supposed to be my best friend especially since i have oily or Skin. when i'm actually in class i tend to get pretty cold i mean i am in there for basically three hours so i really realistically should have sealed and corrected or corrected and concealed but i didn't i was just like we're not even doing eyeshadow today this semester i am taking 14 units so it's a little past the full-time student but it's because my math course is six units studies class finally got into then i am taking a science course also as a communications class, which I am really excited about. Got an A in my last communications class, so I did already set some academic goals. For me, I am on the path to get straight A's again. Last semester, I got straight A's, so I did want to maintain that. What it's been with my nose contour, but it's not hitting. Possibly doing a eyeshadow liner just to define my eyes a bit more. This is probably the first and only day that I will actually get ready. I realize the more that I do my makeup, the more I am enjoying it. I think I enjoyed it a lot during the summer, my makeup. And I generally, on every other day, like, I won't wear makeup to school just because I don't really care how I look. Although I will say shout out to the girls that can come in with a full beat because you slay every time. I'm hoping that my prof allows us to eat a class or at least gives us a break because my last professor did do that, especially when you're sitting in a long hour class. Like, three hours is a long time. Not even gonna lie, I thought about what I was gonna wear today and it came down to sweats in a tank and a jacket your girl is a winter baby i am happy and i am really blessed that i at least can go to school she might blush i keep it too much blush it's not about the blush blindness it's just i don't want to be too loud like i love the girls that always look so good like slay 
it's already like 11. I try to leave my house by 12 because my class is at 12.45. So, so I don't think anybody's realized this, but I tend to use clear gel with my mascara. And this is because my mascara flakes. And then because it is waterproof, it takes forever to come off. So this is like my little tip or hat, if you would. Hello. Hey, you're good. I'm literally just finishing up this little portion of my recording for my quote unquote first day of school video. Yeah. Bye. That's my cousin, if you guys remember her from my vlog. I keep looking back at the mirror. I feel like I'm pretty excited about it. At the same time, I'm kind of nervous because I do feel like if I don't pass this class, like I can't transfer. I have some off. So far, it's been 20 minutes. Put the lashes on, wrap it up. I have at least like 10 minutes left and I am so not ready. I just feel like that wave of like, I want to go back to bed. Doing my lip liner. I love my natural lip color though. I thought about just wearing it like this. I might put like a little bit of this lipstick on. I did a little video on this specific lip combo. I don't know. When I upload this video, my uncle watches it, we'll probably scrutinize it. He's my queen, little chibi. Yeah. This is the finishing makeup look. I'm gonna set it and spray it. I'll probably just fix the powder up a little bit just because I'm not loving the way that my age came out. Um, do you see my makeup? Very mindful, very demure. I'm not gonna lie, I'll probably end up just putting on hair up gray sweats because I already put this on. I don't really feel like taking it off. I'm not doing anything with my hair. I'm probably just gonna put it up in a clip at most. Just as you can see, my makeup. Very demure, very mindful. Not too much, just a little. Why is my forehead like that? First off, it's even a lot of forehead and not enough hair. This is where my natural bald spot is. But I'm going to end up wearing sweats and my white crocs because hope everybody has a wonderful first day of school. If you are entering college, I hope you have a wonderful first year, whether that community college, whether that be university, maybe you're out of state, maybe you decided to take a gap year. I just hope that you have a wonderful day year and rest of the week for that matter Alrighty, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below don't forget to follow me on all my other social medias and check out my other videos i'll see you guys next time bye